Hi guys, Darth Deuces here, back with another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Uh, I know, a bit few and far between, but there just hasn't been a ton of stuff that's been coming out that I've been wanting to pick up and whatnot. But I got some things in from Walmart, and this first one is the Walmart exclusive Balin Skull Mercenary version, I guess. Um, and you might be looking at this figure right now and wondering, how is this different from the uh, original release? And the answer would be almost nothing. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, almost nothing. This figure, it's only one accessory that's different from the original release. Um, I will be doing a comparison here. Um, but uh, yeah, this figure is pretty disappointing um, because I think a lot of people, myself included, were hoping that original Balin figure was pretty flawed. It had some significant issues, mainly with scaling. He wasn't tall enough. I'd even argue it wasn't quite like broad enough, not quite big enough. It wasn't, at least at the very least, wasn't tall enough. And they released that first mainline Balin, and then it didn't take them, a, it wasn't very long until they announced this Walmart exclusive version. And I know a lot of people were hoping that, like I said, that they'd fix the height issue. Unfortunately, I'm going to report to you that they did not fix the height issue. It's the exact same figure, um, which is just, really unfortunate it would have been really easy all they had to do was literally just sculpt new uh lower legs below the knee and just make them his uh shins like that part of the legs just make them a little taller and it would have fixed like the biggest issue everyone has with this figure but they didn't do it um so when they don't do a fix like that it makes this figure even existence make almost no sense um because this release should have been the mainline release um because the only difference is a soft goods cloak that the figure should have came with anyways. I don't know why you'd make that exclusive. It makes no sense. But anyways, um, I'm not going to go too long on the figure itself because we've seen this before. But just give you a quick look. And it's kind of tragic might be a dramatic word to use. But it's kind of tragic because the figure itself, if you don't, like you, dis, you just don't take the scaling, the height into account. It's a good figure. It articulates well. He looks good. I like the dark bluish you know it looks kind of like rust it's not rust i don't think but it looks kind of like rust over the outfit looks good he's got nice details on his gauntlets he got the ring painted and sculpted on his finger there um you know it looked good on the legs got the same detail he's got the newer ball jointed style wrist which i like um the likeness they didn't do anything different with the head sculpt uh, in my opinion this likeness misses the mark a little bit i think it still looks fine like it's still like it doesn't look exactly like uh, Ray Stevenson, but it still looks like the character, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't think it looks 100% like him. Maybe, I know, I hate to say it because he died, but uh, it, maybe it's kind of to the benefit of Hasbro that it doesn't quite look like Ray because now they're going to have to recast the character. And so it just kind of more generally looks like the character, I guess, if you know what I'm kind of trying to say. <laughs> um, but... Uh, yeah, the likeness, I think, could be a little better. It's not bad, though. But yeah, it's the same figure. And it's the same articulation. I don't really want to go over it again. I did review this figure months back, when it, uh, more closer when it came out. And if you want to see the articulation scheme, uh, you can check out that video. But uh, it's all, you know, pretty modern Black Series stuff. You know, like the double joint in the neck. This one does have, like I said, the new ball socket wrist joint. So they move every which way, which I do like. Um, you know, it articulates well. The lower plastic robe thing is soft enough. It gets out of the way for leg posing should you want to do that. And it's got the newer style uh, hip joint that has the cut instead of having the swivel cut. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, I guess we will do the comparison because I don't, like I said, I don't think there's much point. Actually, before we do the comparison, we'll do accessories. So he does still come with the same lightsaber. The hilt is sculpted nicely, painted well. Um, it is made of decently flexible plastic, which I don't love, but uh, this one feels a little sturdier maybe than the, let me check. Yeah, and it feels a little less gummy than the first release, but it's still fairly soft. It does have the really long blade, um, you know, comparing it with I have the old, the first release Shin Hati, it's like decently longer. And I know that was something that was kind of like, in the show, I guess it was a little longer or whatever, but it does feel like in figure form and because the figure is undersized, it feels too too long for this character. Um, 
it doesn't look terrible, I guess, but you know, but you can hold it like the, uh, it holds it no problem, but it just looks really long, you know, and that does have the hook or the loop and they do have a hook there. So you can hook it onto the belt and you can remove the blade, obviously, but I'm trying to just not waste too much time. But the one th feature that, uh, you know, differentiates this from the first release is you do get this soft goods cloak and you just put it around his neck over his shoulders. And I will say this might be the best soft goods robe that Hasbro has ever made for a black series figure. You know, the figure is a pretty major, pretty significant disappointment, but the one thing that they did well on is this is a really well done soft goods robe. The material is nice. It's hard to tell here, but it is a dark green. It's not like a black or anything, um, but it sits over the shoulders really nicely. It's stitched in the front and the hood is probably one of the best, maybe the best soft goods hood I've seen on a black series figure. If it sits on the head and drapes down really naturally, that's because of how they stitched it. It's stitched in the back as well as stitched at each point here by the shoulders so that it'll have that more natural looking uh, draping feeling draping look over the head and it also has this really nice little detail this little stripe of color detail there um on the edge as well which is pretty nice um but yeah this looks really really good i will say um that's the, obviously the main draw of the figure it's the only thing that's new so yeah but it does look really nice so it's the one saving grace and doesn't make me feel absolutely terrible about buying this because I honestly, I wasn't expecting too much from the robe. So, but this actually looks, does look really good. But I am gonna take the robe. Well, actually, before I take the robe off, I will compare the two figures. Here is the first release, Balin. He's a little dirty. Or a little dusty, rather. So you can kind of see there. I do kind of like how the robe kind of uh, makes it look like his shoulders are a little broader, even though they're not. But I will take off the robe real quick. And then as you can see, they are the same figure. They are the same height. They look the same. The face prints look pretty much the same. And the paint and the hair looks the same. Obviously, the way the, uh, the blue on the armor might be a little varied. But honestly, even that, the placement of that is pretty similar. The... Uh, they even look like the same shade. Like the old one might be ever so slightly brighter. I don't even think so though. They look pretty much the same. Same buckle, same ring, same paint detail all throughout. Yeah, they are the same figure. You are getting the same figure here. And then just for some other comparisons, just so you can see, here's the first release Bay or Shin Hadi. I do have the exclusive version of her on pre-order as well i am probably going to keep the pre-order just because i have the robed one i like to have the robe one for her as well but as you can see yeah the scaling is way off she is too tall and he is not tall enough <laughs> there are fixes out there if you have some fodder figures or figures you don't mind sacrificing for their uh thigh parts i think um, I know that, uh, uh, Land Speeder Luke uh, here on YouTube has a video on that and you can check that out if you wanted to go that route to make them have different, better heights. Uh, I don't know if I'll end up doing that or not, but, uh, yeah, there's that. And then just for some other comparisons, just so you can see how bad the height is. Here's Maroc. I'm, oops. I am fairly certain Maroc's not supposed to be taller than Balin. Or as tall. Pretty sure he wasn't. Here he is with Ahsoka. He is he is a little taller than her, luckily. If you wanted to have a display with just him and her, like dueling or something, that works. But he's probably still supposed to be taller, even taller still than that. Or he is. That's not just probably he is. And here he is with Morgan Elizabeth. Where I think the height difference kind of works here. But yeah, I mean, overall, let's get the robe back on him. 
I mean, overall, I don't know. It was a tough one. Uh, it's, it depends on how much you value scale, I suppose. Uh, in my opinion, for these kind of lines of figure, scaling is pretty important. Uh, I mean, if you have the previous Balin, unless you really have to have the robe look, I straight up don't recommend this figure. It's the exact same, just the robe. If you don't care about the robe, don't recommend, don't buy it. Uh, even if, even if, and if you don't have a Balin, it depends on how much you want a Balin skull figure, honestly. Um, if you don't own a Balin skull figure already and you really want a figure of the character, even with the scaling issues, then I do recommend this figure. Outside of the height issues, it's still a good figure and the robe is really nice. Um, but yeah, that's the scaling. And the fact they just did a second release and they didn't fix the issue is just unfortunate i mean i figure what happened they probably already had this idea in the works to do exclusive first the, with the robe and they probably yeah already had it in the works before they ever were going to even consider fixing the height but it's just yeah it's just unfortunate we've had we now have two bale and skull figures and they both are too short i can't remember if tvc has been announced they're getting a bale or not if they haven't announced in the pipeline for a Balin figure, I really hope they do because hopefully when TVC does it, they will fix the issues. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the look at the Walmart exclusive Balin Skull mercenary version of the figure. Like I said, not one I can overly recommend, but if you do don't own a Balin and you do really want a Balin figure, this is the one to get. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know anything down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video. May the force be with you.